up significantly versus Phobia, old school TGN team represented by Color Red today, who has made so many improvements uh, that we've seen so far in this tournament. Very Absolutely. proud to see that. Pierce, you're with me on the mic, just like the old school days. I'm just sorting out the uh, lanes here in my counters. Any any last thoughts before we get this underway, Pierce? I think that we're going to see a massive evasion and a pretty impressive Team 1 fight coming up soon. Or this is going to be like I jack your red, you jack my red kind of situation. <laughs> All right, very aggressive positioning here from Yellow Buff as Ooh, that's well. Oh, that's a permanent ward. That's not an Explorer ward that uh, Sana just dropped. Yeah. So they're, they're going to they're looking to camp here for a bit and maybe counter jungle with rates when they're going for rates. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is looks like it's about to be a trade. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Look, 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 Oriana. Uh-oh, Oriana. Oriana, do that, is, Oriana is really venturing into dangerous territory here. No ward spotted this iron ball. That is a very spiky ball. Ooh, look at this, look at this, look at this. Now we have some vision here on Mr. Pro. Is Yellow Buff going to take advantage of this and try to move in on him? You know what? I don't think Mr. Pro's going to stay for too long. Do notice the position of I'm Singaporean as well. He's in a position to reinforce Oriana. Zyra now moving into position. If a Wait fight breaks it. out here at red buff in red jungle, this is going to be messy. I think this might just be... Mm, what's going I think on? I might fizz out here. I think, I think follow me on Twitter is just going to snag this red. Oh, very interesting. They're going to do a little bit of lane swap here. I'm sitting there AD top. Oh, they're definitely going to try and shut down that Trindamir. There's no mm. end is robust about this. A ward it has been placed by Zera. It's a permanent ward. But they won't be able to catch this uh, this uh, this jab right now. But they're going to see Victor coming down from this. This is going to give them the intel that the red has been stolen. And they're going to go straight. I'm Singaporean. Right might get caught here if he's not careful. No, he's be okay fine. though. But uh, he might have caught the, the in, intel of the lane swap right now that Pierce Shell pointed out. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, he is going to go and take his blue uh, buff exactly. straight away. Look at Zach. 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 Zach knew that they took the red, so now he's going to take the yeah. enemy red. That's the intel from the Trendomir spotting the activity there. So the Loho is responding very well, and although this was kind of a scary start for both sides, uh, it is going to be a normal start here for the junglers as they both have their respective buffs. Melkai obviously far right more now. dependent on that blue buff, so... Quite an interesting turn of events. There's zero advantage kind of given. Both teams have wasted a ward. <laughs> that position right oh there. shoot! Elastic Slingshot lands on Alex Pie. Nothing really going to come of it apart from some harass. Sorry to cut you off there. I did not see that coming. <laughs> oh, you know, that's the thing about Zach. You don't see it coming. Although I do like the um, the situation right now where Maokai does not have the timer for red, but uh, he's delaying the respawn of Zach's red. Whereas Zach shows to get the timer for Maokai's second red. Uh, and uh, that's actually quite an interesting decision making for both of these Look guys. at the burst from Hojo's, looking to gain an early game advantage against Trinomir. Not so sure about that Ignite though, Pierce Shield. I think What's that's that a, that's oh. one way of getting the, the early zone. Uh, if you know your opponent doesn't you know, have a limited number of potions, although in this case though, it's a sword and four potions. So yeah. it might not, you're absolutely right. It might look have been, at like, follow me on Twitter. He's wow, about to oh advance. Gosh, oh, come by with the cocoon. There's no escape. I don't escape, think he's going to get away from this. There's no, no way. Boom. Oh, first, blood. first blood. First blood goes to Hojo's in the bot lane. A huge, huge advantage now for Elise. That's exactly what they needed. I'm Singaporean. He could turn this into a freaking Trinomir carry if given the opportunity. But oh my gosh, follow me on Twitter. I mean, those Milkai ganks, man. You just rely uh, on them every every which way. He lands like those I, Like I said, he's going to be causing a lot of havoc for top lane, and he needs to do this. Because I'm Singaporean, it has to be shut down in the early game to prevent him from becoming just an unstoppable monster. That's what happens when Trinjimir becomes fed. It's just a similar situation to a Vayne. I mean, he just whacks you once, and you're pretty much dead. It's like, uh, you know, there's a no-brainer here. If you look at top lane right now, so uh, the actual pseudo bot lane here, uh, that tower is down to about 30% oh HP. Oh my goodness, it's low. Yeah. They're, they're going for a really heavy shove into the lane. Mm. And I have a feeling that they're going to be doing some very early team play right now. Do note Elise picking up her arm guards, stacking up that armor to win her lane even more against Trinomir. Push me over, taking a lot of damage here from Zyra Root. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, Alex Pai picking the ward placement of Oriana. Nothing really happening. Too out of the ordinary for the mid lane. They're pacing on farm with each other, neck and neck, almost identical income for those two players in the mid lane can't wait to see how that one plays out but certainly Melkai, follow me on twitter has not visited mid lane yet very aggressive oh, visiting from push me over the right here. 
Oh, nice wow. trash placement there from Disco Polar Bear, but uh, critically low Sona, man. Almost gave up a kill there. Uh, Disco Solar Bear landing some really nice Peacemaker there. Had no vision of Ezreal, but knew Ezreal was going to head that direction and landed it. Landed just some extra chip damage. They can push down this tower. Oh, really following well, me on Malachi Twitter, in, hanging all over the, the top right lane. There. This is a shrouded gank attempt right, here. For this. I do not believe Phobia has sight of this. This is going to be dirty. This is going to be dirty. Watch this. Here we go. Follow me on Twitter. Oh, now initiating on the Zack. Zack does have his There is passive. no hygiene up in this. Follow me on Twitter. Still very high on HP. I think this is just going to fizz out. The Loho does have his passive might. No, the sapling is not going to deal too much damage there. But uh, nothing really happened in the top lane. Junglers meeting each other for that 3v3. You I don't think the Zack should be going back in. The Zack should need to focus on a little bit on the clear. Uh, but then again, though, this tower is way too low. If he doesn't give some attention to this top mm -hmm. lane, it is going to go down. And that's going to be like a six minute tower. Uh, I think this is the tower is going to go down very soon right now. I think there's lots of poke here from Disco Polar Bear. Here comes the slingshot. Oh, nice net there from Disco Polar Bear, completely negating that elastic slingshot. Meanwhile, follow me on Twitter, dedicating a lot of his time and mana, taking some CS in the they top lane. They that early tower. They yeah. really do. Here goes Alex Pie with a flash. Where's the oh, storm? The storm will chase, but the flash force from Mr. Pro, I think he's going to be just fine there. So critically low on HP. Alex Pie playing very aggressive there, perfectly dancing outside oh, wow. the tower. 646 range on the tower. That's an early goal. We see Repel, gap closed. Trinomir does not have his ultimate. This is going to be a Venomous by another tower. Oh, Kettle Cocoon land. Oh, yes. Wow. Ojo's lands a second kill in the bottom lane against Trinomir. Massively ahead right now. <laughs> this is not looking good for I'm Singaporean, not the advantage he was hoping for. Meanwhile, Yellow Buff also took a six minute, six and a half minute tower to top lane. Oh yeah. What the, what are they gonna do uh, with this? Pure well, show? Like, I, like I said earlier, it's, it's just, they're, they're trying to shove down that lane and now they're gonna be able to roam a little bit. If you can see right now, they're gonna try and shove down bot lane and go for an early dragon. It's, uh, it's, it's actually a very aggressive play in my opinion. If you yeah. look at Ezreal and uh, and the Zera, they're also switching out the bot lane because they feel like Trinomir can use the top farm to uh, to catch up right now. At the same time, though, they can still have a tower to to play passive and free up Ezreal. Yeah. However, little do they know, Elise is probably gonna head pop lane too after she uh, she ravages uh, mid lane a little bit. Oriana is level six and she does have her shockwave. So let's see how this turns out. Yeah, they're gonna go for fine. early dragon right now. Look at this. War has been dropped. I think they're gonna go for it. Yeah, looks like Yellow Buff is mobilizing for a dragon kill. Follow me on Twitter, leading the charge there, and it needs some more damage. A counter attack here could be pretty problematic for Yellow Buff, but I don't think. Phobia is even remotely aware of this right now. And that's going to be a lot of early gold advantage here for Yellow Buff. Now digging level 6 for following Ooh, me on Twitter. I think Alex Pie wants to grab his blue buff, but maybe just getting the timer on enemy blue buff here. Victor or going behind the scenes for a gank ward, just got sported, spotted by a vision ward there. Man, Phobia's got to pull back. They're about to get four man dove here. And I a think second man, tower going to take this tower. Minutes. Wow, look at this. They're going really aggressive right now. Yeah. Do know that Trinomir has returned to the top lane, going to be doing some serious pushing of his own. Alex Pai. Wow, another Chaos Storm for the Pursuit, just chasing down these targets. Almost landed a double kill back there on Zyra and Ezreal, but uh, no cigar. Uh, this is a very high high skill match, Pure Shield. This is a big pleasure to watch, but look at Yellow Buff. Wow, they're pushing so hard right now. About to take a second tower in the bot lane while Follow Me on Twitter spots Alex Pai in mid. Jeez Louise, the slingshot too little too late from the looks of things. The damage has been done to this bot tower. It's not quite down yet. Trinomir, however, did take a tower in the top lane. Elise now moving into position to respond. Elise, what did she build with those two early kills? Uh, it's going to be a haunting guys. Yeah, haunting guys combined with the arm guards. Very tanky so far. Uh, Trinomir is going to have a hard time dealing any sort of damage to Elise in the early game. It looks like Yellow Buff is going to be, you know, I mean, the, their strategy right now is to take as many towers, objectives as, as possible. Just get the huge item advantage. Uh, Tafobi just knocking out that ward with another ward. Bro, I heard you like the vision ward, so I put your vision ward on your vision ward kind of situation right there. But if you look at the overall goal advantage right now, that's about 3k difference. And that's a huge at 9 minutes. 3k difference in 9 minutes, how many kills is that? That's 10 kills. I'm on the dragon, yeah. <laughs> That's 10 kills. That's how much of a difference it made between that dragon and the extra tower. 
Yep. So it's extremely beneficial for you know not a single put no no player on uh, on yellow buff's team is out of control yet, but certainly like Elise is going to become out of control. She lands one more kill. Yeah. She gets a chance to the Hawking guys and the Zonias. It's just gonna it's gonna be that like a, the avalanche sm snowball effect. So well, it'll be researching to see if they're going to be pushing down mid tower soon as well, just to get the just the map supremacy. But at the same mm -hmm. time though, I haven't seen a lot of wording in terms Looks of like, like it's going to be a tower site yet. That's Mr. Pro happens. about to get stormed from looks of things. No, Yellow Buff deciding not to pursue this kill on Mr. Pro. However, very, very aggressive pushing here from Yellow Buff. Alex Pine now with that blue buff. And Augment Death is able to clear these minion waves so quickly and chunk the enemy champions with DOTs. Alex Pine now, for the most part, has been roaming for the past five minutes, Pure Show. Mm-hmm. Looks like we're going to be... Oh my goodness, a oh, Flash Storm just procced. That Zach passive and the AOE output from Victor just dominated Lolojo right there. Look at that gamer sense from Alex Pye. Just flashed in and massacred. There was a ward, I think. But uh, still, <laughs> those twitch reflexes just melted Zach. One of the tankiest champions. Oh my oh, goodness. Look at that crescendo. This will be a double tower. kill. No problem. Wow. Ooh, this is so... Oh, oh, follow me on Twitter. Oh, so close. <laughs> so close to losing his life right there after the Zera, ult, uh, Zera uh, passive and the two tower hits. They are going to push down this mid tower and cement a formidable lead right now. And if you look at farm advantage versus uh, kill advantage right now, they're pretty much entirely ahead. You know, like uh, Trinomir though is left to kind of do his own thing. He is low eight right now with Advanced Scepter, so he's at that point where he's very difficult to kill. Uh, but you know what? It doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, team fight running supreme, uh, running supreme, and I don't think Trinomir can carry them back. He's just a little too. No, high. no, no, no. Yellow Buff is pushing so hard right now, ladies and gentlemen. Three towers down for Yellow Buff. And all three, and one in each lane, uh, <laughs> at 12 minutes. Crazy. It's like they're not even focusing on farm. They want to win this game at 20 minutes. From the looks of things, Alex Pye hasn't been. He hasn't been staying in mid lane for the past like seven minutes or so. It's crazy how much roaming he's doing, and it's really paying off for them. They're about to take another tower in the bot lane. True shot barrage there. He used to try to clear some of this minion wave. The cannon minion nearly taking down the tower, um, but it looks like Yellow Buff is going to go back and shop here. I think they're going to shop, come back, because Dragon's going to be up very soon. And it's very important for them to take another objective. They're going to try and force a fire Dragon. Phobia knows that the next Dragon is very important for them. It's a great way for, for them to turn around this game. But I don't think they should be engaging in a team fight right now. Just the sheer amount of AoE that between Maokai and uh, Victor right now, they're not going to stand a chance. Alex Pye looking to snag that blue buff there with a the death ray. Just missed it. Uh, Would have actually had it do the timing, but... Uh, yeah, let's take a close look at these builds here from Yellow Buff as three out of five of their players, I believe, just went back for a shot. Never mind. Wow, so much damage goes down on Loloho. His passive is not available right now, so he's got to play carefully using a defensive Let's Bounce to get away. And um, wow, more chunking from Alex Pye. Hitting this Mr. Pro Oriana player with those death rays. Not exactly um, what he's hoping for there. It's, it's a lot of damage over time that isn't, you know, that it's not factored in right at the impact of the ray. So uh, I think Hojo's is having to basically dedicate all of his time to defending top lane against I'm Singaporean. This is a strategy that I'm Singaporean used previously with Trindamir to try to just push inhibitor by himself. Um, but Hojo's isn't having it, man. They're gonna dedicate top lane attention with Hojo's and he doesn't really need to be present for this for this split pushing here. You know what though? Trindamir is gonna get his rune king very soon. This, this is gonna keep keep happening so uh, they better be very careful because Trinomir is getting to that point like he's at level 9 it's kind of like a Vatmir level 9 it's very difficult to kill him there goes a second tower for bot lane three towers ahead right now almost 6k gold ahead uh, this is just a commanding lead from yellow buff and plenty of map control they're just positioning wards up in the enemy base if you look at that there's two wards right there up mm -hmm. on the front line and they're going to have so much vision of the activity of the enemy team. Here comes the oh dragon. Goodness. Not going to be contested. No chance for this for Phobia. Yeah, I do know Hojo's is mid lane right now, leaving Trinomir to free farm. But, oh my goodness, Yellow Buff is just playing so well right now. Hardly any mistakes I've seen. In fact, zero mistakes from what I can tell. So far, near falls play. And this is really impressive. They're just, they're really in control of this match right now. Looks like they will be looking to take this mid tower, uh, but Hojo's is going to have to go respond to this Trindamir relentlessly pushing the top lane right now. 
Mm, which is you know, all he really can spot. do. We're gonna see a Baron really soon. Your shield's calling the Baron. Is Sona in position to win? I think three minutes. In three minutes, they're gonna be attack, uh, attempting Baron. <laughs> That'd be very early for Yellow Buck hey, to I attempt. I called the first blood. I called like pretty much half the strat. So I'm hoping <laughs> I call this as well. So, uh, fingers crossed. Knock on wood. All right. What has Yellow Buff decided to purchase? As a lot of their players just went back. Looks like uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see Alex Pie grabbing up a decap as soon as he can. But uh, finishing the haunting guys for Elise and uh, just. Standard all across the board here. Malkai finishing off his Aegis of uh, what is it called? Aegis of Legion, yeah. Of so, the Legion, somewhere. not Legion. Aegis of Legion. Of Legion. Legion. Aegis of, of the Legion. Item names, man. I know. I'm so bad with names. You guys know that. Alex Pye soloing Blue Buff by himself. When are they gonna make something happen here? It looks like Ward placements from Tafubi at the Baron Nest. So they're getting ready. <laughs> this is actually kind of fun to watch. The little right. plants is shooting the Baron. <laughs> oh. It are there plans shooting it? <laughs> Feels like one damage per shot. Yeah. They're gonna try and push down this tower and swoop back for a Baron. I'm I'm like calling it right now. You think so? Yeah. Alright, they're just waiting. All five players from Yellow Buff are now assembling in the mid lane. Such superior poke, I feel, with the with the power here from Victor's death rate. <clears throat> far better than Mystic Shot so far. Yes, that's what happens when you don't drink water in between these casts, man. Your vocal your vocal cords start to give out. Anyways, we can see. Oh, oh wow, there's a shock move on three nice players. So much AOE CC. Down goes Alex Pyle. Oh. Wow, that was yeah, one hell of a play. turnaround. Ace in the hole blocked by Zach. Would have been a kill there on Zyra from the looks of things. So well played by Phobia right there. They just capitalized on Zara's ultimate, and Zach's just, Zach just bounced in along the shockwave. Yeah, there were three knockouts. There were three knockers. First came the shockwave on three players, then the Zyra ult, and then the let's bounce, just running around interrupting people left and right. Alex Pye didn't have time to even drop a storm in no, that he, last fight. He, his ultimate is still up. His ignite is still up. Oh, the only thing that was burned was his flash. In fact, after that, they're going to get set back. They can't be taking objectives like Baron anymore. No. It's just, they need to go back and start playing recovery. Look at <laughs> I'm Singaporean pushing out second tower. He's probably going to lose his life right now. He doesn't even bother. With, yeah. the, uh, with popping the ultimate, because he knew yeah. he was going to die. There's no point of, of wasting it for the next fight. Yeah, absolutely. You can't escape a male Kai unless... He's, he's not that quick yet. He's getting there, though. He's got a zeal. I uh, just picked up an Avers Blade, actually, and uh, some Berserker Greaves. So, uh, yeah, I agree with Pierce Shield. I don't think Yellow Buff is in any position to take a Baron at this point, as they just lost that last team fight. Give up three kills. Uh, where's the gold going for Phobia's players right now? Ezreal with 5.1 and Oriana leading the charts at 5.7 thousand in the bank, building her Athene's Unholy Grail first, whereas Alex Pye still has yet to complete his uh, decap, instead opting to get home guard on his Sork shoes there, just to focus on farm from the looks of things. Which is oh. a strong choice. Ward has been killed by uh, Elise right on top Ho -chos. Ho -chos. Ho -chos. Ho -chos. Ho chose. Sure, Yosh. Blue buffs on top of blue buffs from Mr. Pro. I do believe he got that last one from Alex Pie. Uh, so, yeah, Alex Pie without the blue buff. Not good for his CDR. He doesn't quite have any at this point. But uh, instead focusing on raw ability power, which I do not disagree with. Trying to steal that big wraith there from Zack. Just missed it. I'm going to be quite frank right now and say that after that team fight and after Trindamir catching up and being left alone for so long, this game is far from over. Oh yeah. Trindamir about ready to get a oh kill my gosh, on no. Kaelin, oh, but reinforcements probably going to perish here. flashing in the wrong direction there with oh that crescendo. Oh my gosh, I don't want to Oh no, push me over. Oh, Alex Pai gets Alex picked. Pai from the yeah, yeah he's down. Too. Oh wow, my goodness. Wow, so much disorder oh, from Yellow Buff. So much disorder. I can't believe. They had such a commanding lead, and now they're just throwing oh, no. it almost. Four kills given oh, up. Oh my goodness. Follow me on Twitter. Regardless of how tanky he is, he's going <laughs> to go down. Tied for kills. 2k goal left. That's not a commanding lead at all. That's just a slight lead at this point. And it's not even 20 minutes so far. Yeah, I can't believe that just happened there. Disco Polar Bear caught totally out of position. Flashes in the wrong direction. And then missing the crescendo. Only to have Alex Pie 3v1'd. 
when he tried to reinforce. Oh, I man. said that yellow buff hadn't made any mistakes all game. <laughs> the There's mistakes a whole are flurry of right errors now. right Again, there. Like it happens, you know, you watch how success mistakes happen all the time. You know, it's not, it's definitely not going to be like anything different for anyone playing this game. Mistakes just happen sometimes. It's about how little mistakes you can make and they can't afford to make another one. Tower Vantage is only down to one. They're within 1k gold, exactly 1k gold right now at the 20 minute mark. This game, calling it 40 minutes. Guaranteed. <laughs> Alex Pye's income very low as of late as he has been dying. He's now on a dying streak, which has given Oriana with her, her unholy grail uh, the opportunity to basically purchase a decap shortly after Alex Pye if things keep going like this, um, which would mean that Victor is not uh, is not going to be dealing nearly as much damage as, as um, Oriana from the looks of things. So this will be a free dragon here. Absolutely, he did, they snagged it with the, uh, with the, wow, Ezreal all came in just a hint of a second too late. They have an Oracles and they have Vision War, so a little bit of overkill there on the Vision, but look at what the Sonus items are now. Philostone and Ruby Sized Stone. That's all we, I don't need boots. Psh, who needs boots? Jeez. <laughs> yeah, Yellow Buff has still been dominating in terms of objectives. They have uh, four towers. And uh, they had every dragon so far. I believe that's, what is that, the second or third dragon? A, sure. But look at this, though. It's only a 1.8k gold lead right now. Just, mm -hmm. just look at this Oriana from 184. 30 ahead of Caitlyn, which is the top form of the team. And 50 ahead of Alex Pye right now. Alex Pye is being caught out way too often right now. He's and roaming nonstop. He doesn't even have his death cap yet. He's, he's overconfident, man. He's been roaming ever since, like, the 8-minute mark. He hasn't really been focusing on farm at all. And you know what? To, to be honest, that's gonna that if that's gonna, if they're gonna lose this game, that's gonna be one of the uh, deciding factors there. Although they're they're one k gold ahead right now, a little bit over one k, close to two k right now. I think that phobia if they got another good team fight, especially with Trinity now in the fray, they're gonna win the next team fight, no problem. That's possibly that's what... we're about to see one. Here comes Elise closing in from the river. Is Yellow Buff gonna allow this tower to fall? Gravity field stuns, but oh my not goodness, the result look at he was hoping for. He needs to land this storm on more than a couple players to ensure this team fight victory. And no, Illumbuff just lost their mid tower and didn't really do anything about it. I think uh, I think Alex Pye was hoping for more aggressive play there from Yellow Buff, or excuse me, from Phobia. He's really saving that storm. He knows how to play Victor. He just went back to buy his decap. He's going to have it for this team fight. Does Oriana have enough? Almost has enough for a decap. Um, Man, if it, I think Yellow Buff needs to force this fight now yeah. before before Phobia gets a little bit more stacked and then risk losing the next one. Because as it stands right now, as long as Yellow Buff doesn't make any glaring mistakes, they should have this team fight in the bag. You know what? Uh, just a message to the friends and viewers. They've been getting a lot of comments saying, whoa, that just had to turn around so fast. My recommendation is don't blink, don't leave for a bio break because this thing is <laughs> going to go a lot faster in the next few minutes to come. And you know, you don't want to miss this. This is only a semi-final yeah. match, guys. This Yellow is Buff, getting super excited. These Yellow teams... Buff has to make a decision now. They are going to lose their inhibitor if they, and if they don't go back and stop Trindamir. So they have to either go back and stop Trinomir or they have to push mid inhib. It does appear that Elise is going to go back. Hojo's is going to defend this inhibitor from Trinomir. Not sure how that 1v1 might pan out, but the action is set on the mid lane right now. Yellow buff, now the ball's in their court. They need to force this fight, especially before Oriana gets a little bit more ability power. They are going to take a moment here to CJ. What are they waiting for, Pierce Shield? You know what? I think that they're just they're they're, being, they're playing a little bit more cautious right now. They don't want to engage under a tower. They want to take as much advantage as possible. Skill catch up a little bit on farm, catch up a little bit on some objectives. I mean, it is now tied four towers each. The only advantage they have right now is dragon, and that's not even much of an advantage, even though they took most all, all the dragons so far, uh, just by the sheer how punch they're lagging behind on on, on farm. Maybe mm -hmm. one baron or and a dragon will, will they'll be they'll be back in the the, the, the even on gold. So. The way I see it right now is that the deciding factor for this game is probably going to be the forthcoming um, Baron fight. I, 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 see, I think that they're going to go for a Baron very soon at this point. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's one of those situations where both teams are kind of almost getting bored at this point because they know <laughs> they can't make any rash moves, but at the same time, though, they want to make a big play. So the only source of big play right now for a team play right now is probably Baron. And maybe the next dragon, but dragon dies so fast, you're not going to get much action there. Do note that Oriana has completed her death cap. I do, I can't help but say, I think Yellow Buff should have forced the fight back there. Now Oriana is going to be devastating 
in the next team fight. If she can land that shockwave, she does have the grail and she has the death cap. What is her ability power sitting at right now? 335 with no buffs. Um, this is dangerous compared to Alex Pye's 366, but again, he doesn't have the same CDR and he doesn't have the mana regen from these team fights. Or the magic by the grill. Don't leave the magic resistance out for Athene's grill. I mean, yep. she's got 84 magic resistance right now. How much does Victor have? He's got 67. <laughs> Not really a fair matchup right there into the MR. Yeah, Alex Pye, I wouldn't say he has lost the lane, but he definitely started roaming and it didn't work out for him. He didn't get the kills that he needed to pace with more er, Oriana, who did stay in lane. Uh, and I think Pierre Schultz's right. I think we're going to see a lot of tension here over at Baron very shortly. Hojo's has been kind of building to counter Trindamir all game long, but he hasn't been able to land a kill because I'm Singaporean is so experienced in that solo push top and he's so evasive on Trindamir that he's, he's actually keeping his team in the game by forcing Yellow Puff to rethink their positioning every step of the way. So I'm Singaporean not disappointing with his with his uh, Trindamir after those first two kills he gave up. Oh, look at this. This might be a... This is a very interesting positioning right now. Is Trindamir going to reinforce or is Trindamir going to keep pushing top? I think he's going to reinforce and force a team fight very soon. They're going to push straight into the mid lane right now. But they're just waiting for an opportunity. I'm not sure exactly why they're waiting in that position. But I think that this is a good time for, uh, for Tufebi to pick up an Oracles if he has a gold to spare right now. He has 380 gold right now. He should probably go back for Oracles, go for some war clear. We see some very aggressive positioning from Blue Team right now. Let's see what comes out of this play right now. Yeah, Yellow Buff looking to do some sort of initiate. Mm -hmm. Elise and Victor are slightly out of position, but follow me on Twitter. He's getting antsy, man. He's like, all right, I need oh to twist Oh my gosh, that word is picking them up. This is why an Oracle would be so helpful right now. Ooh, this is, they're not there's the right sampling, right catching now. Oh, look at this Maokai engaging. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a team fight going down. Yeah, Caitlyn, Disco Polar Bear in the back dealing lots of oh, damage. Oh, Chaos Storm! Ugh, that Chaos Storm just completely melted Zyra back there. Alex Pye being chased down, but reinforcements arrived just in time from at least the death ray, close lining Trindamir. Alex Pai is still alive. Disco Polar Bear has fallen. Looks like it's a 3v2 in wow. this situation. Yellow buff. Oh my god, they just totally turned that around. Even though they have the inferior initiate, Zach will probably die back there to Victor. And Oriana is going to be chased down. Nice cocoon there from Hojo. So yeah, this is going to be an ace. That is going to be an ace for sure. Wow. Very nice turn around there by Yellow Buff. They're going to be reaping some rewards here. Either a ta probably a tower, possibly two towers, but Zera is up right now, so she can definitely defend the inhibitor tower. They're going to be losing that second tower for sure. Uh, I don't think that Zera could stop that. She's definitely in You know what? She got nuked so hard, she didn't even have the opportunity to drop her ult. That is Zyra. That's exactly so, what happened to Victor previously. Yeah. And now, just with one fight, Yellow Buff is back in a relatively commanding lead right now. I wouldn't say that they're as much <laughs> leading as much as they were in the 10 minute mark, but certainly with this dragon, though, they're going to be having at least one or two items of extra lead. Yeah, absolutely. Yellow Buff has been executing the objective so, so well. I think they've taken every single dragon this match, uh, which has really given them that gold advantage that you see on screen now. And Sona pushed me over. Is now warding all over the Baron nest. Both teams have wards all over Baron right now. But man, look at the coverage from Yellow Puff at Baron right now. What is that? Five wards all surrounding Baron. Push me over. It's just pissing wards all over the map right now. Uh, and I think Yellow Buff is going to mobilize for this right now. I think that forcing a fight at Baron would be advantageous for them. Alex Pai picked up another needlessly large rod. He's looking to build that Zonius any moment now. How much gold does he have? He just about has enough gold for his own use at this, at this moment. Um, I would not be surprised to see him build that next. That's going to give him a huge advantage over Orianna's damage output so far. What do you think, Pichel? Why are they taking so long with Barons? Both teams playing so passively. This will be the only Summoner's Rift they get to play as in this best of three. So, both teams showing that they know how Summoner's Rift works, but uh, they really want to capitalize on this win. One because bad move, it could mean loss of advantage or it could mean loss of a game for these guys right now. And I think that's one of the reasons. Look at the number of shield wars they have at Baron. Yeah. Just look at that Baron area. There's, 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 f there's four wars there for blue team. And at least one war there, possibly two wars if you count that one in the little corner there for that area. <laughs> it just shows that they don't want to make a mistake. They don't want to be, nobody wants to be that guy that throws the game. 
right? Yeah. You guys, yeah. you know, Summoner's Rift, as soon as this one's over, you know, it could be ARAM next, and you could definitely lose an ARAM. There you go, you're out of the tournament. Yep. Um, you know, you, 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 you want to use the map that you have the most control and the most experience in, then take as much advantage as possible. I think Yellow Buff is going to force a fight here. Alex Pi did just finish his Zonias. How much ability power is he rolling in right now? 548 before buffs versus Orianna's uh, 442. So I mentioned that because these ultimates, Shockwave and Chaos Storm, are instrumental in how these team fights play out. They're both huge. Oh, look at that! Parents chunking, <laughs> chunking Sona for a little bit. Wow, Sona is down to 30% health <laughs> just off of Baron. <laughs> yeah, Zyra Troll right there, aggering the Baron, taking Push Me Over's health down to half. And they can't be too happy about that. Going to be second guessing whether or not they do want to force a fight here at Baron, as Phobia is in great position to counterattack any time they decide to make a move. Hmm, looks like Oracle's did fade away right now, so it's going to be a bit of an advantage right now for these guys. Let's see what we're dealing with. Right now. Hmm. Yeah, this is uh, very suspenseful here. Look at these Caitlyn traps blocking off the That's entrance. That's a lot of wards. That's a unnecessary... I mean, I'm just turn Fog Oh, shoot! Sure. Elise is about to get picked, but she does have a repel, I believe. But Zach Lolojo trying really hard. What is this? Ace in the hole? What the... Just to kind of throw him off their guard, I guess. Here comes Alex Pai, the crescendo. No good spots for Chaos Storm, but he has to do it before he dies. He gets evaporated before he can drop the storm. Or uses Sonya's. What a blunder wow. from Yellow Buff. No! Whoa. They just threw that team fight, and this is going to mean a free Baron for Phobia, ladies and gentlemen. I can't believe they just made that mistake, Pure Shield. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> it's one of those ugly uh, extensions. This is going to be a Baron, and they're going to be back in this game. I mean, one Baron is even, you know, generally <sighs> pushed a lot just with this one Baron advantage. Cannon's going to go down, reap some rewards of being staying alive and get a little bit of extra items, but. Look at just look at how fed this Trindomir is. Static ship, Infinity Edge, and it's about to finish the Ruin King. He's an unstoppable force at this point. A lot of friends and viewers in the comments, and uh, we also mentioned this, is that you can't let Trend get to end game. You just can't unless you have a Vayne on, the, on your team or a Nasus. You just cannot let him get. Oh, to he's end so game. stacked. He's approaching now. that end game. Look at him right now. Look at that. He's so 289 stacked. 289 attack damage. He's critting for 812 on the small wolves. That means you'll crit for about 400 <laughs> on a player, right? <laughs> smash, 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 you're dead. Smash, 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 you're dead. Like, pretty much, if they can't shut down this Trinomir, if they can't pick and make a pick a roll on Trinomir or Ezreal, it's going to be over. They, Look at how neck and neck this match is, Pure Shield. 12 12, just less than a couple hundred gold. That's at 32 these two minutes, minutes, less than a couple at hundred. At 32 minutes. Crazy that this has happened. That Baron kill for Phobia, you know, in conjunction with winning that team fight, pretty much. Uh, compensated for all those early dragons they lost and uh man oh man alex pie he really he really dropped the ball on that last play it was just a poor initiate from yellow buff I, they started with an ace in the hole some strange initiate strategy follow me on twitter was he didn't have the team it was a it was bad it was just bad and it resulted in them losing that team fight so single-handedly right there. You know what? I think that might have been just a miscommunication of sorts. You know, for them to win this, Alex Pai needs to be in a position of power to be to unleash Havoc. So he needs to probably go in last at this point. Like, Caitlyn probably needs to go in before him. And the only reason to say that is because Caitlyn needs to act as the uh, as a pseudo-bait right there. And because if you think about how much Chaos Zone does with a death rate, that's actually more damage right now than this Caitlyn. Absolutely, man. Victor is an ultimate team fighter. He had the ability power in that last team fight to basically just win the game, but it was so botched. I can't even. <laughs> but it's good because this is this is neck and neck now. Yellow Buff had a really strong lead early, and they just gave it up right there. This could go either way. Pier Shield, five five on towers, even on kills, five hundred gold between the two. It doesn't get closer than this. It's all going to come down to the team fights. I think Pier Shield makes a great point that Trindomir right now. This should never have been allowed to happen. Trindomir I think is now... they should have just shoved Trindomir and win that 20 minutes. That's yeah. probably would have been the best strategy for them to guarantee a win, but they dilly-dally a little too much. They focus on the other lanes a little too much, Amp is too much. They should have just kept on focusing on the top lane and make sure Trindomir never gets Should there. Phobia dive this pure shield? They do have Baron Buff I, right now. You know what? It should have would have occurred in this situation. I think Phobia, if they do dive this, they're, they're in there for a world of pain. Yellow Buff is setting up. They're trying to. They're trying to. They're, they're, they're gonna. They're gonna try their best to win this next fight, as they did the previous fights. But they've learned from the mistakes, right? They know not to. You know, not to. I guess underestimate the Trinidad Mirror. 
and now the strategy is just way out of control. So <laughs> I think that their strategy right now, like I said before, it's Victor just need to be far away from the fight when it initiates, but going in there and pretty much clean up. Like you can clean up, he can clean up a giant mess, man. He makes Mr. Clean look like I don't know, like, <laughs> a, like a mud wrestler. Seriously, like this guy and can clean up. I mean, Alex Pye is known to be one of the best APs we ever had in the community tournaments. If anybody yep. can do it, he can. It's just a yep. matter of being able to turn this around. I mean, Phobia, for the first time, has a commanding goal lead now. Well, not necessarily commanding. 500 goals is a lot of goal at this point. Am I right? Am I right? Um, <laughs> at this point, I think that Phobia has just got a, just a boost in morale. And Yellow yes. Wolves is a little bit demoralized because they've lost three team fights in a row. Yeah, and Phobia lost has the momentum right now. But we have the momentum. There's no doubt some arguing going on in yellow buff right now, as indicated by that last team fight, which was so disorganized. Uh, they just need to pull it together. They need to get their heads in this game and not do another team fight like they just had. The key um, here is a pick and roll for either of these teams. So they need to get into a position power, pick up an oracle, clear some boards, get into a position power, and see if they can pick out a AP carry or AD carry. Or even the support for that matters. Because both of these supports are heavy CC supports, right? Zara, Zara's ultimate and Zara's roots versus Sona's ultimate. It's just, if you don't, if you, they're, they're also a giant threat to the enemy team. Uh, if every single player on both teams is a factor, it's not like a Soraka is kind of like, oh, you annihilate Soraka, no problem, we just don't have healing silences anymore. Uh, we still we still have a giant, massive amount of damage on CC. In fact, like for these teams, the CC is crucial for how the combos operate. That CC is initiated towards an, what we like to call a pop this combo right there. So I think that if they can pick a support real quick, like as soon as the five starts and the support is gone before the ult goes off, then that team will actually have a massive advantage. Obviously, try not to blow your ultimates to pick out that support. I think just a couple of Q, W, and E's, you can definitely wipe out support. I mean, those of these supports are building very little items right now. We're going to see some aggressive positioning here. This might be the start of a team fight. If they're very wise and smart and they notice that Trinder Meter is up top, they will try uh -huh. and push it. Yeah, Yellow Buff needs to push this now. Yeah. Uh, Phobia does not have Baron Buff. Trinder Meter is way out of position. He doesn't have Teleport. This is a 4v5. They have to do it now. I think they just caught on to that. Trinomir is going to be here in a few seconds, but he's always going to continue pushing top here, Shield. Come on. Ah, oh, man. Not aggressive enough. Follow me on Twitter. Usually, mm, he does have flash. They see Trinomir top. They need, to, they need to flash engage this. They have to. He's not going to do it. At least oh, he's going no, back to stop going Trinomir. Back. They're not going to go for a massive push. This There's is, uh, so this is much not passive good. play here. I mean, mm. Alex Pai has, has an elixir. The, no, no, nope, nothing's gonna come of that. <laughs> I want to say, you know what? I, I see the logic behind this is that they're being careful, but there comes a point where they could be actually too careful. And, and keep in mind though, Caitlyn is also doing a lot of damage right now, right? And between Caitlyn and Ezreal, I think they actually have more faith in, uh, in in Caitlyn to be doing a lot more damage. More sustained, of, of course. Yeah, yeah uh, the sustain from Caitlyn is far superior than the than the spill from Ezreal, as he's far more bursty. So if he's caught out of position, he's basically a non-factor. But Caitlyn, you know, as long as she's standing there shooting, she's going to be dealing a lot of sustained damage. I honestly feel the yellow buff, they, they had a team fight, easy win right there. Free win. And they just they just let it go. I want to say it's a free win because you're still dealing with Zera and the kiting capabilities of Oriana, Ezreal, and, uh, and Zack. So, you know, honestly though, like maybe... They, they knew a little better that to not to not overcommit to that and leaving Trimnir to come in to clean up. And I think they're hoping for the Trimnir split push right now. As you can see, it's taking Elise out of the picture. And Elise is their assassin, their key to shutting down Ezreal. Like I said previously when we were uh, dealing with the Bane Trindamir combo, um, you can't light your AD carry nor Trindamir free cast. So it comes to the point where Elise need to fa like, uh, assassinate the AD carry as soon as possible so that they can, they can work on Trindamir a bit and shutting down Trindamir. Or else it's going to be game over. Like if you can't shut out either of these guys, <laughs> you, you're not going to have a chance against them. Baron has just spawned, so this is going to be a key opportunity for Yellow Buff to go for a turnaround. They need to get some vision, they need to go back and pick up the Oracles. And I don't think uh, Sona has the goal right now. I think she should really go they, back and pick it up. They can't afford to go back. Phobia is about ready to start this fight here at Baron. If Yellow Buff doesn't oh, respond, there um, we go. this is going to be a big mistake for them. But they are oh, mobilizing no. now. They will I, lose they're this, get Baron, this Baron, but... No problem. Just don't get it. Yellow Buff is playing really, really passive here. This isn't like them. Uh, and I think it's costing them this match right now. Now they're going to be forced in 5v5 against the Baron buff. Follow me on Twitter is trying to initiate for oh, his team, wait, wait, but... Wait. This is actually really good for them if they keep kiting like this because of Victor's death rays. 
Yeah, the Loho has his passive though, and he's got a far superior initiate to Maokai, and follow me on Twitter just hasn't been initiating. I feel like Alex Pai has been expecting an initiate, hence the elixir for the last team. Oh my Here's god, look at that the storm! Zoom. Melting Oriana, oh AP goodness. damage taken out of the picture. Wow! The Phobia. Trinomir now solo pushing bot, now he's punching himself, saying, oh, maybe I shouldn't have tunnel visioned on top all the oh game long. Oh my goodness, they need to, oh wait, I, they, they need to just push for the base, they need to push for the base right now, screw Trinomir, they don't need to stop Trinomir. They should base race Trinomir right now, they have far more damage, and far more pushing power, and uh, here comes the minion wave, they can't allow this minion wave to get destroyed so quickly. Elise is going to TP back to try to deal with I'm Singaporean, Yellow buff has to make oh, something wow, of this. Oh wow, look at that, oh my god, that death rate, just so much damage right now. They can ease. Oh my gosh! I think at least might actually be able to she win this fight. She is gonna kill him, dude. She's gonna have. No, that no, no, no! That's a bad idea. Oh, whoa! That's <laughs> wow. There's the zone. Is combined oh with that ignite. Oh my goodness! Yellow buff. Kind of getting close right now. Those. They need to go back. The ignite inhibitor advantage. I think they're gonna back up. But that is a complete victory in the sense that <laughs> Phobia had Baron Mode for that fight. What happens is Phobia only has an advantage in team fight if Trindamir is there. Even if this is 44. Um, with, you know, without like let's say the two top lanes, like between the uh, between Alex Pai and the four that four Rasa that fought, uh, they they actually have an advantage in terms of like they're, they're more used to team fighting. The only reason they lost fights previously was either because of really really poor positioning at one instance, and then the other two instances were because of Trindamir. So if Trindamir is out of picture, actually split pushing, that gives Phobia a huge disadvantage against. Mm -hmm. the yeah. They don't have the assassination power when Trinomir's not present. Oriana got straight up crucified in that last play. She didn't even have time for a shockwave. You know? She got Twisted Advance Storm, that was it. Like, there's no coming back from that. You need more damage and Phobia, and Trinomir has to be present for it. Like I said, if Ezreal has pressure on him, he can't really deal any damage either. He's very focused on Mystic Shots, and you can't shoot Mystic Shots if you're constantly running away. You don't even have time. Uh, so yeah, that was definitely advantageous for Phobia, or excuse me, Yellow Buff. Trinomir has to be present for the next team fight. I agree with Pierce Shield. If he's not there, then they're just going to continue to lose these team fights. And honestly, I think that Yellow Buff just regained the momentum that they needed. They were demoralized there for a while, but after that last play, I think they got their aggression back, and here they go. They're going to be pushing mid lane right now. They kind of formed a death ball. You know, that's what the StarCraft players call death ball when they're playing Protoss. <laughs> <laughs> it basically piled on top of each other, but at the same time, though, they flashed all together and pretty much picked out two people right away as soon as that fight starts. They need to do that more often. In fact, that's the, that's their greatest advantage to this team is that you know you, have, you drop Maokai, you drop Sona's Crescendo, and then you drop Victor on top of that with Caitlyn's Peacemaker. That's a lot of damage at once. That's actually, I think that's about 2,000 damage at once. So, if you look at the health of these guys, how many of them actually have more than 2,000 HP? Zera barely has more than 2,000 HP. Oriana has less than 2,000 HP. Ezreal has barely over, and Zack is the only one with 3.5. So, if you look at it, if they landed, can you imagine if they landed on Ezreal and Oriana for that fight? That would have been an instant game over. They can't even yeah. defend it at that point. Yeah, now we're going to see a legitimate 5v5 Baron buff. I don't think they're uh, going to engage this 5v5 though. I think Gil buff knows better. Not with, yeah. not with Trindamir in the frame. They they don't want to because Ezreal has a G, GA. There's still a couple Baron buffs on the field. They do have a disadvantage if they want to fight this. Unless Phobia takes a giant misstep and uh, leaves an opportunity to get stormed again. What they're doing right now is baiting for a pick and roll. So make them feel like they're, they're comfortable. Make them feel like they need to push out a little bit and have map control of their own jungle again. And then swoop in and get a kill. Yeah. So right now they're they're roaming around and you know, clearing some boards, pretending they're pushing this thing. But that's a, that's the essential objective here, is to eventually get them feel like, oh, they're not pushing us anymore. Oh, they went for objective. Oh, they went for dragon. Let me just go in my jungle and check, and boom, they're dead. Cocoon lands on Zyra, not the target she was hoping for. Baron buff now subsided. Yellow buff might make something happen here. It would be a full blown base dive if they did. Disco polar bear with some very aggressive positioning. Got to make sure he doesn't get picked by Zach here. There's a chain of AoE ultimates from Phobia's team. Makes it very hard to survive that initial attack. Ooh, yeah. Ace in the hole nice. again, just Ace to kind of zone the Zyra here. Interesting to see Disco Polar Bear use that as more of an initiation. Oh my initiation. gosh, they're going to break down the door. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the there goes the tower. The is the city walls right now. Are uh, we going to see some kind of a shockwave here? Zyra is forced back to the pool. So now would be the time to move into this inhibitor, but now it's going to be a full-on team fight. Is this going to oh, happen? There goes Zach with the initiate. Zach initiate. We see a bounce. 
Root used on Zach, oh, flashes all over damage. the place. Oh, the shockwave on Disco Pulver. He survives, though, and now Trinamere Yellow Buff, going for the death ball. ball. Caitlin, though. Trinamere is going to assassinate the carries, but the storm goes down, forcing the Zonias on Alex Pye. I think Phobia might be able to oh come through with this, but Victor's still alive in the wow. back. I can't believe he survived that. Ah, oh, Israel still has a GA, though, so... Oh, my goodness. I think this is like a draw, almost. No, it's... You know Victor what? Can't... I think that was in Phobia's favor. Oh, my gosh. Oh, of course, because they down one more player, but... Israel still has the Guardian Angel, though. That yeah. is not looking good for Yellow Buff. They're getting Tower Advantage, but... <laughs> this is gonna... They're gonna lose the uh, Super Mini Advantage soon, because the Ring is gonna respawn. Hmm. So... That's... Did you see Trinomir? Did you see him... Man, such great prioritization from I'm seeing Yeah, you're looking at him. He didn't even bother auto hacking anyone near Yeah, him. He straight up went walked. in there. He pretty much walked. He did. He saved his whirlwind for two, when Kay's going to use a net, right? And he walked to Kay and started whacking her. That yeah, takes absolutely. some patience right there. Yeah, he, he prioritized the carries so, so well, man. He took Disco Polar Bear out so quick and then forced that zone on Alex Pye. Well, uh, and then he had a the flash credit's through. not all to him, though. Like, Zack landed significant damage on Disco Polar Bear. Like, Zack chunked Disco Polar Bear to about 50%. And then Trendomir needed two wax and Caitlyn's dead. Zack, damage? Have you seen his build, bro? He's Dude. straight up tanking right now. <laughs> and he still does damage. That's the thing. Let's bounce. If you if he's bouncing entirely on top of you, that's about a thousand damage. So that's exactly what happened in the last fight. Is that Zach kind of sacrificed himself to get the enemy weakened, and Trinity went in there to swoop for the kill. And Ezreal and Oriana protected so well by their frontliners, very well played by their frontliners, both of them, Singaporean and Loho, Loloho, Loloho. That's yeah. the weirdest name ever. Man, these guys need to pick better names. I think this is gonna be a oh, this is gonna be a bum rush on that. Oh yeah. my god, this is These builds go are so nearing fast. completion now. These this Baron is not gonna last long. Push me over, taking lots of damage. Zyra ult there used to uh, to delay this Baron kill. I think Yellow Buff might be forced to pull back here. I think that's No, they're slowly but surely DPSing down goes the Baron wow. to Yellow Buff. Yellow Run, Buff this now is uh, they're gonna try and engage Baron this. Buff. Well, but both Shirai hasn't popped though. Yeah, yeah, Phobia now on the retreat. Um, oh my definitely. goodness, that push me over was dangerously close to dying right there. <laughs> she was just by herself for a second, trying to make her turn around and probably whack her to death. Here comes a slingshot from Zach. Is it wise to initiate against a fully buffed yellow buff? Follow me on Twitter, so tanky, absorbing so much attention there. Meanwhile, Caitlyn in the back as well as Oh my Victor. goodness, look the at that from yellow buff. Oh the my carries gosh. from yellow buff out of control Trinamere. here. Whoa! Oh, so wow. much damage from Alex Pye. What were they thinking initiating in that fight? Yellow buff now. Actually, it's pretty even here. Alex Pye's got to make this happen. He needs to raid this Ezreal. Ah. There's, the, there's the field. He's totally out of mana. They just oh lost my God, that fight. I was <laughs> what happened there? How did oh they my lose goodness. that fight? That turned, they turned lemons and lemonades right there and pretty much turned out around. I think what the key there, there was Trinamere Trin Trin went down. And I don't know how they... Uh, that was kind of tragic, though. They, they left Ezreal and Oriana free casting, and they just wiped the floor for Yellow Buff right That now. should not have happened. There's, I don't understand how that happened back there. I think, I think Caitlyn was just not dealing enough damage back there. Disco Polar Bear wasn't auto attacking enough. I mean, I don't think they even burnt, like to be honest, everything on Trent. The cross on that and everything. So it wasn't like a uh, you know, lack of prioritization on their on their part. But this is gonna cost them at least one Nexus Tower. This is gonna be close. No, no, that's gonna be a one Nexus Tower because Sona can easily defend this. Yeah, yeah. Phobia is pulling back that Baron, a non factor. Now, these builds man. are almost complete. 50 minutes into the game, man. Did you expect this? I actually didn't expect it. I thought it was gonna be over at 30 minutes. I thought Yellow Buff had this down. Uh, in the early game, they were just so dominant. We're gonna to get to the sixth item phase very soon. And yeah. I see Disco Polar Bear building a Randuins, which is, you know, it could be a good item, could be a good choice, but it's well, a little too specific for Trinidad and Ezreal right there. Note that Alex Pai, you know, Victor with the Augment, uh, has been completed for a long time. This is part of the reason people don't really believe Victor's a viable late game mage. It's because he has that six slot since level one. Um, so he's pretty. He should be buying elixirs and such. No, he doesn't have any elixirs active. He does have some gold in the bank, so he might be looking to swap out some items here. But uh, I don't think there's anything for him to swap, though. He's got the best items he can. That is the best, best Victor build, as far as I know, in terms of in terms of damage and survivability. So yeah, he's just his team's. 
Yellow Buff just hasn't. They they haven't been team fighting the way they were at the beginning of this match. No, I can't, I can't I mean, believe they lost that fight. Last team fight was in their favor for a second, but Oriano and uh, Ezreal. I mean, this is the advantage of Blue Ezreal. <laughs> he he could just kite and shoot from the behind, right? And, and between the Qs and Ws, he's dealing a lot of damage already, just pelting on your team. And well, he's also besides, not being focused. Gauntlet gives you AOE as well. He's not being focused. The fact that Ezreal's GA has not been he utilized. he hasn't used that GA once since he bought it. The GA yeah. wasn't used at uh, once. It's been like it's been twenty minutes. Yellow Buff is GA. ignoring the Ezreal in this match. I mean, every single team fight, I feel like he's he's at almost full HP, and it's not just life steal; it's because they're not focusing him down. So, yeah, the GA <laughs> Isaac is probably thinking maybe I shouldn't have bought this freaking GA if they're not. <laughs> Why gonna... did I buy this GA again? I could be getting more damage. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't think that's exactly how Isaac sounds like, but you know. What can I say? Oh no, oh, Caitlyn's caught. Ooh, this is, looks bad. It's bad for positioning right now. Alright, this is gonna be, oh my goodness, Flash and the Let's Bounce gonna take the carries out of the picture. Trinomir comes in and assassinates oh before the Zonias or the Storm. Trinomir just basically won the game right there. Oh my gosh, look at that shot. Oh my this goodness. Is a wipe. This they is allowed... a wipe at this point. Oh my goodness, I think that is GG, guys. That is GG, well played right there. Very nice play from both of these teams. Spectacular comeback from Phobia. I mean, they were so behind the first 10 minutes. But I, Singaporean, proving that Trinomir is nothing to be trifled with for the late game. Yeah, that really did come down to Trinomir late game. Just like Pierce Shield said, they, they allowed the Trinomir to get out of control. And as a result, Yellow Buff's carries were just assassinated thereafter. Um, a combination, perhaps, of Isaac's superior blue Ez play just making him untouchable or yellow buff not prioritizing probably the latter or probably the first statement i made uh, as you know yellow buff obviously knows what they're doing when it comes to team fights but yeah that was that was messy they had the win they had it man mm -hmm. and then it just fell apart it did